Is effortless style truly effortless, especially for women over 50 who want to be casual, but still look stylish and put together? The truth is effortless style is not effortless at all. It is intentional, it is well-fitting, and it is well thought out. Most of us do not have the time or endless amounts of time to create curated outfits, nor do we have time to analyze different word descriptions that help us define our style. But we are all visual. We can all recognize a style that we like when we see it. So that's where we're gonna to start to help create some realistic and uncomplicated ways to achieve our own personal style. So the first thing you want to do is really get in your closet and identify those heavy hitting basics. Typically these are items that you feel good in, that you feel confident in, and that also fit well. If you're missing any of these basics in your closet, this might be a good place for you to start to make sure you have those well-fitting basics because you're going to use those to build out from. So for example, my heavy hitting basics consist usually of a well-fitting white t-shirt, uh, probably a white button up uh, blouse, a pair of well-fitting jeans, and for you that might be a pair of well-fitting black trousers. Also, my basics would include neutral tops and also very subtle jewelry. So since we are all visual, I'm going to show you pictures of what I recognize as effortless style. And it probably looks different to everybody, but I'm just using these as an example to show you how you can kind of create your own effortless style out of what you have in your closet. So here are some inspiration pictures of a style that when I see it, I instantly recognize that as being a style that I love and it does look very effortless. To me, these look very relaxed yet sophisticated. They're very classic, but not overly done in any way. So when I see this, the t-shirt and the sneakers, they make it feel really relaxed. The silk skirt gives it that little bit of sophistication without being too stuffy. And the jewelry is just a very subtle detail. So I have most of these basics in my closet already. I happen to have a black silk skirt that I've had for several years and I haven't worn it very often because I had trouble making outfits that really resonated with the style that I really like and wanted to achieve when I wore it. So when I saw these pictures, it truly inspired me to create a similar look. And you can see here, I was pretty much able to replicate this same look with what I had in my closet because I happened to have the black skirt. This is an ex just an example of how you can take a picture and use what you have. But this is an outfit that really feels true to me and gives me an option to incorporate the skirt into my wardrobe more often. So another example of something I really love when I see it but I'm not always able to achieve it is mixing relaxed pieces with more structured pieces. And when I saw this picture that I'm sharing with you now, it just, I love the way this looks. Again, this is what I recognize as effortless style. So the chinos and the top are really relaxed, but then the leather jacket and the pumps really give it that structure and sophistication. It's just a perfect mix of relaxed yet you know, a little stylish and I don't know, just chic and cool. I really, really like it. So I grabbed some similar items in my closet in just a little bit slightly different colors and put this outfit together on my own. Now this leather jacket that I'm sharing with you here is another item. I've probably had this jacket for 15, maybe longer years. But again, it was a piece in my closet that I, I knew I wanted to keep it, but I was having trouble really finding ways to wear it in a way that wasn't too stuffy. So again, this is just an example of us being visual and maybe not overanalyze how we feel or what we think is effortless style too much in our head, but really look at pictures. We can look at a picture and know that we like it, but we may not always know how to describe it. So this is what I mean by trying to create ways that are uncomplicated to create styles that we like and feel comfortable in. 
And when we achieve that, it does oftentimes come off as effortless style. Another style that I often see, and I always think it looks cool and classic, is an, a monochrome outfit. And for me, that's typically all black. I really like the way it looks. I think it always looks so chic and put together, but had trouble really executing it in kind of an effortless, relaxed, casual way. So some of these pictures that I'm sharing with you now really kind of capture what I envision in my head. So I was able to go in my closet and find things to create a similar look. So what you're seeing me in here is these items I've had in my closet for a while, especially the knit turtleneck top that I have on. This is several years old, just is sitting in my closet and I don't wear it all that often. Turtlenecks are coming back in style and kind of this similar to this it's kind of a thinner knit turtleneck which isn't always my favorite but it really worked well in this scenario the pants that i'm wearing are actually a type of yoga pant and i thought they were perfect for this outfit they really do mimic more of a stretch pant or you know a ponty pant um, and they work really well. I thought the outfit came together beautifully. I didn't add any jewelry with this. I kept it very simple up top. And then I did pair the metallic flats and a very structured bag with it. And I just think it looks fantastic. This very comfortable outfit. I might actually splurge or maybe not splurge, but go ahead and get a pair of um, normal trousers that are similar to this style so that I'm not wearing yoga pants, but I do think it really works and I'm very happy with the way it came out. So then we can talk about trends a little bit and I'm not one that is really big into trends or um, jumps on a lot of bandwagons when it comes to trends, but we can't help but see them, especially when we have trending colors because when you go shopping, you tend to see a lot of those things. So I do like some of these burgundy tones that I'm seeing. They all look very relaxed and a style that I really like. And so I wanted to put something together, kind of using this color theory that I'm showing. And so this last inspiration picture here really spoke to me. I love the way she looks. It just looks so casual, but so chic and put together. So I found similar items in my closet and I put them all together in one outfit, which might be a little much for some people, but I wanted to see how it looked. And I do like the shoes and the bag and sweater. I think it's all very pretty, but you can also do this very easily just using your basics, such as in this next example, where I just have the denim jeans and a white button up, and then you can incorporate those colors into your bag and your shoes or just wear the bag on itself and wear a neutral color pair of shoes. And if all of that is a little bit too much or you know, too much to think about, you can always just stick to your basics because you can never go wrong with a pair of denim and a white button up, throw a nice purse and a clean pair of shoes on. You're always gonna look good and put together. If you're feeling like you wanna add just something a little bit more, you can throw a cardigan over top of this or the cardigans are trending right now every length and style you can think of. So I did pair this cardigan that I purchased last year from J. Crew over top of the white button up. And I think this is just so classic, so relaxed, but put together. And just another example of using what you have to create your own effortless look. But don't be afraid to get inspiration from pictures in Pinterest and YouTube or wherever you find inspiration and try it on your own using your basics to build out from. So I do hope it was helpful. Reach out to me, let me know what you think. And if you've made it this far, I would love it if you would stay and subscribe. It is free, but it does help my channel and I truly appreciate it. Also consider giving this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Take care. These are items that you reach for on the regular. They usually, oh my God, ugh. To me, it looks very relaxed yet, okay. Ugh. I happen to have a black silk skirt. Ugh.